Oh, no. Are you farting on camera? I'm trying to film here a little uh, cinematic videos here, oh, you know. Okay. You're here. trying to make an aesthetic van life video? Yes. Oh, sorry, my bad. Do you have any coffee? A French press? No. <laughs> no? You don't? No. But then you're not a real van lifer. <laughs> Let's go, you. Oh, it's 4 p.m. It's nice and peaceful here. It's unreal. And so much snow absorbs all the sound around. It's just so quiet here. Beautiful. You can hear the little river, the little stream. Look at this color. It's been <laughs> Oh, this was stressful, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Holy, we made it through. <laughs> Man, I was like 30 kilometers just through the heavy snow. We didn't know even is it gonna snow that much. Well, we never checked it actually, but she's a tank with a chains, I will tell you that. Oh yeah. You tell me oh. you want a box truck type of bitch or do you want a Subaru type of bitch? Okay, you, <laughs> you want a box truck. She's heavy, she won't get you through. <laughs> Okay, good morning. It's another day and we don't have much fuel left in the tank and that's why our heater doesn't really work when there's a little bit left in the tank. And I've been using propane heater, but we're running out of propane too. Yesterday that driving through the snow, it took a lot of, lot of fuel because it just does that. It's a shabby. <laughs> yeah, I'm freezing. It's seven degrees Celsius inside one degrees celsius by the floor literally next to the batteries my outside temperature sensor fell off so i don't know how cold it is outside but what my internet says it's minus 21 degrees outside it's chilly change engine oil soon we need to change engine oil soon it showed i was like change engine i was like what <laughs> <laughs> do 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe I can yeah, get it in there. Yeah, Walter. Okay, I'm gonna go in hard. Okay. Oh my god. What a 
tank. <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. Woo, it's cold. You look pretty with this jacket. You know, I've been getting a lot of compliments on this jacket today. And this is pretty too. People are probably gonna think this is an iron table. This is ain't iron table. This you can see by the looks of us, we don't iron our clothes. Ashley is gonna demonstrate the iron table iron positions. Table. <laughs> it does look like iron table from here. Oh my god. <laughs> Pop it off. Store it right there. Like this. Why we didn't have this thing in the first place? One episode. Just one more no, episode. Oh, I want to watch a movie. Come on, Yuki, settle down. <laughs> Minus 20 degrees Celsius outside. Yep, I would not want to ski today. On the tops there would be chilly. There's a swimming pool here in Revelstoke. We're we gonna go take a shower there. I'm probably gonna go for some nice swim. And uh, yeah, just enjoy Revelstoke a little bit. I wanna film around a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. Yuki's still pooping. No, it's not sponsored, but my joints need it. My friend uh, Jason suggested me this one, you know. When you get over 30s, you kind of start to feel your body a little, bit, a little bit more often, so. I feel my knees. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> so the bad. taste hits right in it. Your turn. No. No, that's pretty big. We're going swimming! <laughs> yes! Oh, I'm so excited. While we were back in a man, man, that place was awesome. There was swimming pool, jacuzzi, there was even rock climbing wall next to the swimming pool. Steam room, that was really nice. Look how many van lifers, camper van lifers are here. That is insane. Okay, here we're driving farther and we're gonna stop a little bit farther there where UK's gonna go for a run, but oh my God, I'm seeing box truck. <laughs> there is a box truck community. <laughs> ah! Is that a bumper? Here's the boxy. It's oh, a nice sprinter. Nice. Howdy, how's it going? Oh, they said. So many van lifers out here in this Revel Stoke City. This is unreal. Good morning. It's minus 20 degrees outside and we're going skiing. Exciting. Last night my friend Daniel arrived. He's sleeping in a van too in his little Ford transporter. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna try to make some shots, film a little bit, mostly enjoy myself. See you on the mountain. Oh, something. Man, it's unreal. Holy. Oh. Ah. <laughs> 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 
The story is it's snowing like crazy outside and I'm really getting a little bit worried about how we're gonna get out tomorrow. It's morning and it's a lot of snow here and we're definitely snowed in. Okay Yuki, go. <laughs> well, the first idea is to clean off the truck and I'm probably gonna dig out some pathway here so I can get some speed and get us out of here. I would like to stay here and if you get stuck, we're gonna stay another day. Oh wow, it's harder than I thought. Yeah. Best way to help Walter. All the way down now. Yeah, reverse. He's reversing. So we dug all of this out down to there. And let's see how far we get this time. I'm getting a little farther each time. Well, we are really stuck. We can't get out. In the end, it was pretty. F we thought we we're gonna make it, but we didn't. Let me show how far we made it. We digged all this, and that's how far we made it. And it's just pure ice, and even chains doesn't really doesn't really do justice. I call the BCAA roadside assistance. Oh, hi. Is this Robert? Yeah, this is Robert. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to help you tonight. Oh, that's all right. We'll reach you in the morning when we're coming out. I don't know. Depends on what all goes down tonight. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 Um, our back rear tire, one is spinning and one's not, and then there's a clunking noise. So we called the shop and they said we probably uh, broke our axle, um, which is crazy because we have no money. So this is going to be uh, interesting. And then we just called BCAA to tow us out of here, well, to, to plow. <laughs> but we don't know how to tell them that we need to get towed out of here as well. So. <sighs> Um. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, Roberts! What happened, Roberts? So it looks like our truck is broken. <laughs> Again! <laughs> Again! And and we're not rich, so we're literally this is this is great. Yeah, no money, so it's uh, nice. So we're waiting for tow truck. He's coming from Calgary to load our truck on his semi truck. So he's gonna come around 11 o'clock at night. He's gonna be here. If you want to support our channel and come on our Patreon account, <laughs> and, you know. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you're always welcome to come to Canadian Style Patreon account. So Andy, the tow truck driver, he's going to be here in an hour and a half. So he's going to be here at 9.30 p.m. And then we have a five-hour drive back to Calgary. No, we're going to stay in Golden. Oh, we're going to be sleeping in Golden on the way back to Calgary. But the tow truck driver will cost $2,000, which was actually cheaper than everyone, anyone else. <laughs>
Everyone else wanted to charge us $3,000. And then the car, depending on how broken it is, let's say if the differential is broken, then that's going to be another four or $5,000. So that completely wipes out all of our money. Um, and we don't have any work coming up, so... Yeah, we were just literally sitting in a bed and thinking. We've been in situations where we are out of money, but we have at least work next day. But we've never been in a situation where we're going to be soon out of money and we don't have work lined up yet. So that's kind of like interesting as well. Just very crazy extra expenses we had in the last two months. We never thought we are going to have in such a short time. Oh my god. How are you, Ashley? Oh, me? I'm yeah. homeless. How are you? <laughs> That's life. That's life. Yeah. I've been to Revelstoke so many times. Oh, okay. I've never been to this, this road. Yeah, there to the right there is a big dam. Yeah, yeah, I saw that, yeah. Just called the garage where our truck is gonna be in. They're gonna take a look today already and see what's up. Are we gonna stay in Calgary in Airbnb? And uh, hope we don't need to stay there long. Don't have nothing else to say at the moment. We're here in the Paradise Trucks and Trailers. Loading it off. Yeah, I've been uh, two times in this spot. Nice guys. And again, we are on the street! <laughs> Homeless once again. Oh, Yuki. You didn't thought your parents were going to be homeless, eh? This is our third day here in Airbnb. After our first day, garage called me and they said the axle shaft is broken, which is, I thought, pretty okay because we were expecting bigger damages. I was like, okay, you know, it's not bad, not bad. Today, they called me back and they opened the differential and they saw the differential is scattered in pieces and all differential is kaput and i asked how much would it cost and he said if it's like from the dealership or from the parts store or something like that it's seven thousand canadian dollar just in parts i kind of dropped in the shock i was like holy moly he said he's gonna look in a scrap yards and call second hand places and i looked at the some places today as well and i found one ambulance the same drivetrain and everything and I called them up and they already sold all the axle and I was like Jesus. I don't even know how to explain this situation. I'm very mad at myself because it was my mistake. I did. I was driving engine too much and the chain digged out the ice and hit the asphalt and that's how it probably scattered the differential and it's just all my mistake and I'm so mad at myself if I'm honest. Yeah do we continue van life and the answer is we will continue van life i'm gonna try to get all the monies together and fix the truck i like this lifestyle i love it it's the lifestyle what makes me feel the most alive it's just a little struggle time everyone has a little struggle time in life we'll get through that yeah thanks for watching i hope you enjoy your adventures if you are new to the channel subscribe Go check some other videos we have made and see you in the next video. See ya. Bye.